Hey guys, welcome to another video on the Road Empire. Today we're going to be taking a look at this BNSF SD60M that I built out of Legos. I saw one built pretty similar to this just on Google Images, so I decided I would try and make one of my own. So this is not my own design, but I just saw a few pictures of somebody else's and tried to build one myself. So we'll start off in the front here. In the front you can see we've got the handrails, we've got the white ones so that people can see them better. We've got stairs that go up the side here that are attached to the truck. So when the truck moves, the stairs move. We've got ditch lights, which are pretty cool. We've got our windows up there. These windows are actually like on their side and they're pointing like sideways. So that was really hard to figure out how to um, do that whole thing in there. But it ended up looking really good. We've got a number 2020 on it. I make my own custom stickers. So it can be really difficult to match the orange exactly. But I think I did a pretty good job, especially on this model that I did here. Um, I named it 2020 just because... Or numbered it 2020, sorry. Just because it was the year 2020, so I thought it was just kind of fitting for the locomotive. I know that's probably not too prototypical, but that's just what I wanted to do. We've got the... Uh, the white antennas here on the top. Um, moving on down, we've got a nice gas tank here. It does kind of curve in a little bit, but you can't quite see that in the video. But we've got really nice handrails. They're held up by what we like to call uh, droid arms. If you've ever seen Star Wars, they're like they come in a lot of the Star Wars sets, and they're like the black droid arms. So I use those and I hold up all the handrails and then I just use big long tubes as the handrails. And then over here when I ran out of tubes I just use littler pieces. But yeah, overall it ended up looking really good. Again, there's a big BNSF sticker that I custom made there. I'll bend the handrail down here so you can see it a little bit better. But there you go, there's the BNSF sticker for you. And then you can see here the, uh, the cab windows too that I had added in there and then you've got a 1x2 light gray tile on its side there acting as the middle part of the windows dividing the two so now if we go around a little bit oops it looks like the trucks don't want to do that it is a six axle locomotive so that is uh that's something that's pretty cool about it um then I've got these little clips that face down here. You can't see too well in the video, but I'll try and bring them a little bit closer so you can. There you go, you can see that clip there hanging down. That's just for some more detail in between the trucks. Then of course on the back we've got a curved back with two headlights. We've got the white hand rows there too, and then we've got uh, some more stairs, which is really cool. The stairs I think just add a lot of effect and cool looks to the locomotive. But yeah, and then if we keep going around here, we've got our coupler with the two buffers. And we come around this side, you can also see the vents. Those were on the other side, but I forgot to mention them. We have those vents there, up top. And uh, yeah, then the last thing that we have on this locomotive is the detail on the top here. You can see we've got three big round vents that I used, and then I made that little horn there, which looks pretty cool. Then we've got a few other pieces up there in the front for more detail. Then there's a few little vents and whatnot along the side. So without any further ado, let's go take it on the track with a few cars and give it a test yeah. run. 